Hello again. Last time we looked at fish. So let's find out which animal we're going to be looking at today. Let's have a look inside our box. And today's animal is on the top. Let's see if you can guess which one it is. Any ideas? Let's have a look. Take the lid off. It's a giraffe. Here he is. I can put my hand inside this one like that. <laughs> Let's find out some facts about giraffes. Should we do that? Good idea. Giraffes only need to drink every few days and they only sleep up to half an hour every 24 hours which is not very much at all. They spend most of their lives standing up. Every giraffe has a different pattern of spots. Giraffes have two horns on their head made of bone in between their ears and those are called ossicones. And male giraffes use them for fighting Right, let's see what else we can find out about giraffes today. Move our box. Got a picture here of some giraffes as well and you can see those ossicones on the top of the giraffe's head. There, and all their beautiful spots. Lovely pattern on, on those giraffes. So now we're going to do some measuring. Giraffes are very tall. I've got a few different giraffes here, different sizes, and we're going to use some cubes to see if we can measure them. So here they are, can you see? Four different sized giraffes. We're going to measure how tall they are. Just bring it a bit closer. Using some cubes. Let's have a look. I've got some coloured cubes here and I'm going to see how many cubes tall each of these four giraffes are. So let's have a look. Let's see how one cube looks. Mm, no, that's not going to be enough, is it? Let's add on some more. two together. No, still not tall enough. Let's add another one. Three. We're nearly there. I think we just need one more cube. Let's have a look now. Put it started at his feet, going right up to the top of his head, and that's perfect. One, two, three, four. Four cubes tall. So let's take our pen and just write the number four in here. He is four cubes tall. Right, let's try this one next to him. It's a little bit taller. So we'll put the four cubes there, starting at the bottom. What do you think? I think we just need one more, don't we? Let's stick one more together. And let's see if that's enough now. Perfect. So we had four, we've added one more. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five. He's five cubes tall. So let's write number five next to him. Five. Right, let's try this one. This is much taller, isn't it? much taller. How many cubes do you think? That one was five. Have a little guess. What do you think? So that's where five goes up to. Should we try? We need to add some more, don't we? Let's add another one. Nearly, not quite up to his head. I think we're going to need one more as well. There we are. That's it, right to the top. 
Let's count how many cubes tall this one is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's seven cubes tall. So let's write that in next to him. Seven. And the last one, you're going to have a guess. How many cubes tall do you think that last giraffe might be? Let's see. So seven is too tall for this one. So let's take one away. I think that might just be right. There we are, that's perfect. So we had seven and we took one away. So this giraffe is six cubes tall. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, let's write that in. Perfect, that's all our giraffes measured. So which one, has popped up again, which one is the tallest? This one. And which one is the shortest? This one. He was four cubes tall and the tallest giraffe was seven cubes tall. Challenge time. Why don't you see if you can measure something later Find a few things that are different heights and you could use Lego bricks to measure. You could even use a ruler and see which is the tallest and which is the shortest. Now, let's move our giraffes out of the way for a minute. That was good measuring there. Right. Now, giraffe starts with a j sound. Here he is. Starts with a j sound, but we don't write giraffe with the letter j. We use a g to write it because some words start with a g, but it makes a j sound. So we're going to have a look at some other words like giraffe that have that j sound at the beginning that's made with the letter G. So let's have a look, we'll put him down for a moment. And here we are, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, this is, um, they're both characters in fairy stories. The first one is really big, a really big character in a fairy story. He's in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. It's the, Giant, giant, there he is. Giant, starts with a j sound, but it's made with a g, giant. Let's see, we've got one more in here, which is definitely somebody you will know. It's a gingerbread man, gingerbread man. Can you see? Gingerbread man. And I thought we would have the story of the gingerbread man. Today I've got some puppets and we're going to tell the story. And you can help me join in with the run run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. You can help me with that part. So, who do we start with in the story? Can you remember? It's the little old man and the little old woman and once upon a time the little old woman decided to make some gingerbread men so she made the mixture she rolled it out and she used her gingerbread man cutter and she cut out some gingerbread men and she put them on a tray so here are all the gingerbread men on the tray delicious and she put them into the oven to bake. Hmm, delicious. I bet they smelt so yummy. And then when the time was up and the gingerbread men were ready, the little old woman opened the oven and pulled out the tray of gingerbread men. And one of them jumped out of the oven 
and started to run away out through the front door and down the road. And the little old woman and the little old man chased after him. Come back, come back. We want to eat you. And the gingerbread man said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he kept on running and running and running down the road until he came to a field where he met a cow. Moo, said the cow. You look very tasty. Mmm, I'd like to eat you. And the gingerbread man said, I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man and I'm going to run away from you. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he kept on running and running down the hill and he came to another field where he saw a sheep. Ba ba, you look very tasty. I'm going to eat you. I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man and a cow and I'll run away from you too. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And he kept on running through the field, through the roads, until he came to a fence. And across the fence was a horse. Nay, you look very tasty. I'd like to eat you. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a cow and a sheep. And I'm going to run away from you too. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he kept on running faster and faster until he came to a muddy field. And in the field was a pig. <coughs> oink, oink, said the pig. You look very tasty. I'm going to eat you. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a cow, a sheep and a horse and I'll run away from you too said the gingerbread man run run as fast as you can you can't catch me I'm the gingerbread man well the gingerbread man was getting a little bit tired by now and soon he came to a river and he thought uh oh I can't swim what am I going to do and all of a sudden he saw a fox who was very sly and clever. And the fox said, I'll help you get across the river. Jump onto my tail. Oh, thank you, said the gingerbread man. So he jumped onto the fox's tail and they started to swim across the river. Oh, my feet are getting wet, said the gingerbread man. Well, jump onto my back said the fox. So he jumped onto the fox's back and they carried on swimming across the river. Oh, the water's getting higher. I'm getting wet, said the gingerbread man. Well, jump onto my head, said the fox. So the little gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's head and the fox went snap and ate him all up. And he was delicious. <laughs> Did you like that story? Challenge time. Why don't you see if you can act out the gingerbread man story later and run away from all the different animals. Now, the last thing we're going to do today is to make a beautiful giraffe picture. And this is what he looks like. Let me show you. There he is, he's got a long neck and there's his spots. And all we need to make this lovely giraffe picture is a piece of paper, some yellow paint, if you've got some yellow paint or you could use felt tips, a black pen, some brown paint, 
and again you could use felt tips and two buttons so let me show you what we do first let me bring our board back here just take the giraffe measuring down and bring our board back over and I'll show you how we do our beautiful giraffe picture right let's move this so we can see So the way we make him is by using your arm and your hand. I'll show you. His neck is your arm and his two ears and his two cones. Do you remember we talked about those before? The two bumps on the top of his head are all made from fingers. But we don't need your thumb to draw this. So we're going to tuck your thumb underneath your hand like that. Just tuck it away before we start drawing and then open your fingers out like that. And then you can take your pen, put your hand flat on the paper. And with our hand flat on the paper, we take a pen and draw up your arm and then around your fingers. One for his ear, that's for one of his ossicones, that's for the other bump, and there's the other ear. And then we don't draw the thumb, so we just go straight down and then back down your arm. And there we have it, our giraffe neck and head all ready to paint. So I have got some yellow paint here. So we just need to paint the whole thing. I might just pop a little bit more yellow in my pot. There we are. And we're going to paint the whole thing, his neck, and his head just stay inside the lines and paint all the way up from the bottom all the way up one ear and the other this is one of his bumps on his head spread all that paint around bright yellow isn't it other bump nearly finished and his last ear like that And when he's all painted yellow, you just need to leave him to dry. Just need to leave him to dry and then we can carry on. Right, our yellow paint is all dry now and we can carry on making the rest of our giraffe. We need the spots and I'm going to use my thumb to do some thumbprints for those or you can use a finger and I've just got a little pot of brown paint this time I'm going to stick my thumb in and just do some blobs 
on his neck. his spots. Maybe one more at the bottom. I'll just use a bit of paper towel to wipe my painty finger, painty thumb. There we are and all we need now is his face. So we're going to draw two eyes. and two little nostrils and a little smile like that and the very last thing is for the top of his ossicones those two bumps in the middle and I've got two buttons I'm just going to use some white glue just put a little bit of glue on the back of each button little blob on the back of that one and stick it on that cone a little bit of glue on the back of the other one if you haven't got buttons then you can just draw color in a little black circle on the top and there he is there's our finished giraffe he looks lovely doesn't he that's your next challenge. See if you can make your own arm and hand giraffe picture. So that's all for today. Our challenges are to measure some different things around the house and to act out the gingerbread man story and to make a giraffe picture. So we'll see you next time for some more animal fun. Bye!